Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I will be speaking about uh, a little bit about the, the memory of the of the machine. So uh, I will explain how the Z80 is able to address its uh, 64K of RAM using these uh, two RAM uh, chips, and also how the VDP, which uses a different and independent set of uh, RAM chips, is able to address the 128 uh, kilobytes of RAM it can handle. So uh, let's go for it. The architecture of the system goes more or less like uh, this. We can write on the left uh, our Z80 uh, processor. Here in the middle we have a memory controller. And here we can draw our two chips of RAM. RAM and RAM. In the Z80 we have uh, this uh, signal which is connected to the memory controller which is the read uh, write one which indicates uh, that the CPU wants to read or write into the memory then when the CPU wants to read or write into the memory it needs to tell where the, which position which is the address so this is done uh, with an address of uh, 16 bits which is put here in this uh, address bus so it's uh, 16 bits uh, that goes from A15 to A0 or uh, from 0 to 65535. Then you have the data bus which is of uh, 8 bits. 8 bits. And uh, when the Z80 uh, wants to write to the RAM, it will put the address in, in here, in this bus, and it will put the data that it wants to write in here, and it will send it to the memory controller. When it wants to read, it is the same, but uh, it will read it from the, from the bus instead of writing it. The role of the memory controller that we have here in the middle is to communicate with the two RAM chips. Each of them uh, uses uh, 4 bits of data, so it needs to split the data into two of them, that's why you have two. So this is our data, let's write it like, like this, and this is uh, bidirectional because the CPU can read uh, and write, or the memory controller in this case. So we have 4 bits of data in here and another 4 bits giving us a total of 8 bits for the CPU. And finally we have the addresses which go to each, the same addresses to each of the, of the memory chips. And uh, that's it, this is the architecture. It's a simple one with two RAMs and a memory controller and, uh, and the CPU. And what we can see in the following is how the memory controller uh, handles the, the addressing. So uh, let's go for it. If you look at the data sheet of the RAM chip, uh, you'll see that in times of uh, data we are good. So we have uh, our 4 bits of data in here. But in terms of uh, addresses we are quite short. So we have just uh, 8 of them and we need 16. So the way this is solved is by splitting the address into two parts, 8 bits plus uh, the other 8 bits, and this is done with uh, these two signals, uh, RAS and CAS. So this is the row address stroke and the column address stroke. Internally, the RAM is organized uh, as a matrix. So you have uh, rows like this, Many of them, many rows, actually you have two, six, uh, five of them, and uh, you have columns like this, columns, and uh, you have uh, two, five, six of them, and uh, in, at each of the intersections you have uh, one of the bits. So if you have uh, 4 bits, like in our memories, uh, what happens is that uh, this structure that you see in here is repeated uh, 4 times. When the memory controller wants to access one of these uh, bits, 
what it does is the following first step it puts in the in the bus uh, 8 bits which uh, can uh, address uh, 256 uh, positions and this is the row so first it uh, selects the row for example let's say that uh, we have chosen this uh, row second step it puts uh, again 8 bits for the for the column so it chooses here a column let's say for example it has chosen uh, this column in here and uh, in the intersection you have the, the bit that uh, you're reading and and that's it so this way uh, your memory chips can have uh, 8 bits but you can address uh, 16 so what uh, we have just uh, seen is the communication between the GPU, the Z80 with a memory controller and the two chips uh, of RAM like this and uh, as you know in an MSX uh, the memory which is addressed by the GPU and the one which is addressed uh, by the VDP for video are uh, separated in other part of the board, you have your VDP, the video display processor, and inside of it, it has its own uh, memory controller. And uh, the difference is uh, here, uh, we had uh, 64 kilobytes of RAM in, in this machine, this Panasonic, and uh, the amount of uh, video RAM is uh, different. In here we have uh, 128 uh, kilobytes of RAM. We have more video RAM than main memory. And um, the way it works, it uses uh, the same kind of uh, chips, but it uses uh, four of them and uh, has uh, its own RAS and gas and read write uh, signals it doesn't work uh, exactly the same but the principle is the same it has ras1 uh, ras2 and the same for the gas but it's uh, kind of the same then if you want to see the exact uh, details on on the signals that are in the in the bus you can have a look at the data sheet and uh, this is the way it works first you have your ras and gas uh, at a high level this this is the read uh, cycle by the way so you want to read uh, some address so you put your address in the bus the the, the address of the of the row the first uh, eight bits and uh, then you put your press signal low so when you do this you are indicating that uh, the row address is uh, ready so the memory controller will uh, latch this will capture this uh, row address then what you do is uh, you put the column address uh, in the bus so uh, the second uh, group of 8 bits and when you have put uh, them you put your cache signal low when you do this, you are indicating to the memory controller that the column address is, is ready. So it will capture the column address. So with this, uh, it will have the complete uh, 16 bits address. It will be able to put uh, the data in the, in the bus. And, uh, and that's it. You read uh, your data. And when you're ready, you put again these two signals uh, high and you repeat if you want to read another byte and that was it uh, for the memory i hope it was not really boring for you uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye